Take your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! Hi, YouTubers. Oh. This is going to be more about the 3D printed gorilla from Planet of the Apes. But briefly, the Phoenix. Still not got any spoons for the head. Um, don't see the point of finishing the bot bottom and mounting hooks on the back and then mounting it on the post. What's the point? One, I'd have to chop the Phoenix off the stand that it's on. That means then it's loose and um, it's going to be even more awkward to to get round. I wish I could get some spoons, but I'm going to go back on the hunt for them. Um, I've been dis disheartened. Uh, sorry about the video yesterday. Not that professional wobbly camera. This camera is actually doing my boxing because it keeps focusing and going out of focus. I don't know what I've done. I, hopefully it won't do that right now. Touch wood. Anyway, so don't think I've given up on the Phoenix or not. I've just been disheartened because I can't find the spoons. Looked everywhere, eBay, charity shops, ask people. It's a no-show. Well, anyway, here's the 3D printed um, Planet of the Apes scrubber. Um, video following next so you can see it better. Uh, yeah, so let's get on with that, shall we? <laughs> Thanks for waiting and um, hopefully I'll get back in my stride. Until then, bye-bye. So, the Gorilla, 3D printed, uh, where do I start, I start from the head, to the torso, to the arms, to the hands and gun, I printed those off solid, because uh, I wasn't having much luck in printing them hollow, but then I had a chat with my friend, and uh, yay success legs and boots printed off hollow all in all I know <laughs> what one of my subscribers is gonna say but it took 62 hours to print um, I've done the best paint job I can on it there is some now I've got it out of the daylight some little bits that need touching up um, painting isn't my forte metal work is <coughs> Um, as for the YouTuber, I forget your uh, YouTube name. Yeah, at some point I will implement those settings that you gave me. I've saved them to my desktop and I'm going to try them out on a little print. I just didn't want to try it out on this because I'd started it with the settings and I didn't want to change them in case it failed because uh, I was frustrated as it was. I'd already tried to print the legs off hollow once and they failed. But I do appreciate all your time that you've given me um, and like I say I will have a go at those settings. Back to the 3D printer gorilla, it's 12 inches high. Uh, probably cost me about £15 in resin. Um, 15 to 18 But to buy this figure off eBay would be well over £100. The detail I find absolutely fabulous, it's brilliant. Uh, I had problems with the arms and the gun um, holding them in place while I super glued them um, I'm not saying where but I did have to car body fill some of it and I still, I still got to car body fill some of it around that edge because I didn't get that in quite well but all in all yeah I'm happy with that on some car body fill around there as well I'm seeing some faults as I go along but they're easily corrected. Like I say, all in all, I'm really pleased with it. Get it to stand up because if it falls over, it's going to end up in a million pieces. So that's Eros, is it? The gorilla from Planet of the Apes. <laughs>